Good morning, Finley Dreamers. Good morning, Mrs. Adams. And good morning, Finley Scholars. Good morning, Mr. Miller. Good morning, Finley family. Good morning, Mr. Kirby. And we're happy to see Posse, Diego, and Zane from third grade. We're so pleased you're here, really. I'm so excited to hear your shout outs. Well, I put all my plants in front of me because it is Earth Day. So happy Earth Day to everyone. I know there are some classes that are learning more about conservation of water and how to take care of the earth. I think some classes have some special things planned for today. Uh, but it is a great day and it's going to be nice today. However, what I'm really excited about is a message that Mr. Miller and I got yesterday. Some students, second and third grade, scored their best scores yesterday in reading that they've had all year. So that just shows, Mr. Kirby, when you talk about reading every night, Mr. Miller, when you talk about everybody having a goal and confidence and practicing, it works. Let's give a Finley chair to cheer to the following students in Mr. Sun's room, Esmeralda and Benson. In Miss Simmons' room, Alonzo, Reese, Diego HM, and Alex all read their highest words per minute. In Mrs. Dow's room, Jalen. And in Mrs. Rivard's room, Nia. How about let's Give them a Finley cheer. Ready? Go. Woo, woo, woo. Congratulations, hard workers and readers. Wow, I wanted to read their names too. I, I just, oh, but that's good though, because um, whoever reads their names, you know they're doing the right thing. We really appreciate that message we got yesterday. That's great. Well, you know, we have Thursday again. And we can do a shout out for all these students I'm gonna name in a second. So that's fantastic too. So we have Jace again from Mrs. Fontanini's room that's getting a positive office referral. This is probably at least his third one, at least. And then we have Emmy from Mrs. McDermott's room. We have Ezekiel from Mrs. Spritzer's room. And from Mrs. Roberts' room, we have Brooklyn on there. Wow. Then we have from Mrs. Rivard's room, Amelia and In Mrs. Jinx's room, we have Preston Jinx. And this is kind of interesting. You know Mrs. Jinx. She's always got something up her sleeve. <laughs> She gave me two other names. I thought, those two students are not in your class, but they're siblings of students in her class because they were helping out one day when she needed help with some of her students. And so Samia and Alicia also got a positive office referral from second grade because they were helping someone in Mrs. Jinx's class herself, supporting students, helping them understand what to do next because they were listening in on that class. That's great. Then we have Jenna from Mr. Williams' room. And Mrs. Fisher always gives positive office referrals out. To, and she gave one to Francisco. He's helping a new student and showing fantastic leadership. And Francisco, you truly are. You're really engaged in your learning. So thank you so much. Keep up the great work. It's so awesome to hear about students operating at such high levels. And when we are able to do that, we're operating in our very best, encouraging, supporting, achieving. I am so proud of everyone here that does that every single day. Every day is a fresh start to try again. And I think it's so important because as we look into the future, 
There's a great opportunity in the now that students at Findlay, and there's no other elementary school in Des Moines, I don't think there's another elementary school in the state where students can have a free 529 savings account that will pay for your future college or it will pay for your accredited career or certified uh, skilled skilled training. It will pay for two-year college. It will pay for four-year college. It can help you pay for your computers or your books because even though we're in the future, you will still have books at college. I guarantee this generation will have books at college. So what I want you to think about, if you can remember, when you go home to speak with your grownups, if you don't know for sure if you have a college savings account or a 529, we call them both things, make sure you talk to your grownups at home and see, because we're going to really be talking about that here in the next week, along with some other things. So think about that because it's real easy at Findlay to earn that money every year in your college savings account. Speaking of the future and future scholars, we've got some great scholars here this morning. I wonder what they have to add to this morning's meeting. Diego? I have a shout out. Shout, shout out. out. I have a shout out for Mrs. Crawford for being here to subbing for Ms. Simmons because Ms. Simmons went to the vet. Thanks, Diego. I have a shout out. Shout, shout out. out. I have a shout out for everyone in the school for being good um, teachers and cl class students. Thanks, Zane. I have a shout out. Shout, shout out. out. I have a shout out to Kathy for being a nice friend. Oh, thanks. That's great. It's so great to hear about students supporting other students, lending them a shout out because when you get a shout out, doesn't it feel great? What a great thing. And you know what? It doesn't have to be a morning meeting and it doesn't have to be a formal shout out or the beginning of a staff meeting, which I'll tell you, students, when teachers have a meeting, they start out with shout outs. But you can always find a point in a day to give somebody a little extra push, a little bit more encouragement, a little shout out in your own way because it feels great. And that will help you all day long and in your work, but it'll help you in the future. And someday you might find yourself at college either giving encouragement or receiving some encouragement. So let's have an encouraging college cheer this morning. Are you ready? All right, I'm ready. And we got the band back together. I'm super excited. One, two, ready, go. Two, four, six, eight. When the fifth grade graduates. Twenty, 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 thirty-two. Two, four, six, eight. When the fourth grade graduates. Twenty, 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 thirty-three. Two, four, six, eight. When the third grade graduates. Twenty, 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 thirty-four. Two, four, six, eight. When the second grade graduates. Twenty, twenty. 20, 30, 5, 2, 4, 6, 8, when is first grade graduate? 20, 20, 20, 36, 2, 4, 6, 8, when is kindergarten graduate? 20, 20, 20, 36.